Let's get started with some basic concepts in web design. I'm going to work from my desktop and create a small HTML document and then display it in my browser. And so you'll work with me as I type out all of the basic commands and then show it. We'll make some changes to the uh, page and then implement that as well in, on our web page. Are you ready to start? I'm going to right click on the screen and select a new text document. And we'll just call this Web Design 1. And I'm going to change the extension to HTML. And when I do that, watch what happens. Windows asks me if I'm sure that I want to make that change because I'm changing the file's extension from a .txt to an HTML document. This could corrupt the document. In this case, it won't. So I'm going to select Yes, and then I'm going to right-click and edit with Notepad++. Now, if you're taking my web design class, you know that you can download and install this. You can also open this document with Notepad, but do not open it with Word and make changes to it. So I'm going to edit with Notepad++. And then I've already typed a number of commands, and I'm going to paste them in to this web page. And so at the very top, I start with an HTML tag, and that's an opening tag. And so I have the less than sign, the word HTML, and then the greater than sign. That starts my HTML document. Notice at the very end of my code, I have the less than sign, a forward slash, the word HTML, and then the greater than sign. This ends my HTML page. And so now you see that I have the word head, and then two lines down, I have end head, and I had a typo in there, which I'll fix right now to end my header. In between my header tags, I have a title, and it says this is a web page title, and then I end the title. I start the body of my web page by typing in this is the body of the web page, period. Now I have a break symbol, which is the small b enclosed in between. Uh, the lesser than and the greater than signs. And I put in there that I wanted this text to be bold in appearance. End bold, end body, and then end HTML. And I'm going to eliminate this redundant body that was there. And so now it looks like my page should be accurate. So I'm going to save it by, by pressing Control S and then launch a blank web page. Notice I have nothing on my web page at this moment. Now, here is my document that I created and saved. To see uh, what, I what I typed in, my HTML, in a web page, all I do is just take it, left-click it, and drag it on top of my web page, my open window. And now, all I have to do is make changes, which I'll do right here. I'm going to change this to a header, to H1 from bold, which means I need to change it here, H1. And then save that change, Control S, click on the web page, and press F5 to refresh it. Notice how my change was picked up in the output of my web page. And so now this is a header, and it's a large header where it says I wanted this text to be bold in appearance. And I can change that as well. I'm going to make this H2. I'm going to save that, Control S. And what am I going to do next? Click on the web page and press F5 to refresh the page. Notice how it's a little bit smaller. And so you've learned that you can create a basic web page, open your browser, drop your web page onto the browser, make changes in your web document, in this case webdesign1.html, and then press F5 to refresh the web page, as shown in this case Internet Explorer, to see my changes.